What's up, everybody? Uh, literally, everybody's emailing me and, and calling me about what's going on in the Chad Daybell case. A mistake made by the prosecution. The death date of J.J. Vallow is wrong on the charging document. Um, I've had some people actually call me and email me that are in the courtroom, in the courthouse, watching the case with some people involved. They told me that it was a Scrivener's error that on one of the edits of the charging document, the state accidentally changed the date, didn't mean to, and that during the JOA arguments or the um, arguments made by John Pryor, Chad Dable's attorney, he didn't even bring it up, but the judge brought it up and said this death date is wrong, and it was after the state had rested their case in chief, so what happens now? There are a couple different scenarios. One is that the case could get thrown out. The JOA could get granted. And the charge, the individual charge against JJ could go away, but usually only if the defense has made the death date one of their big arguments, meaning he wasn't there on that day or the victim was still alive past that day and the state was using it as one of their big arguments. Doesn't seem like that was something that happened here. So much so that John Pryor didn't even notice that the date was wrong and the judge had to point it out. So it doesn't seem like there's going to be any major prejudice. This has actually happened to us in some cases and the judge in all of our scenarios and in most of the scenarios, they will just let the case re or let the state reopen the case, fix the Scrivener's error, change the date, and just keep moving forward if it doesn't prejudice the defendant enough. So that is op option number two that can happen. Option number three is we can have an argument, we can have a hearing, the judge can hear um, arguments from both sides and ultimately make a decision only on JJ's case. It doesn't mean all the charges are going to go away. It doesn't mean Chad Dable is going to walk away scot-free. Um, the other charges against Tylee and Tammy will still go forward. It doesn't seem like there are any issues there from what I'm hearing from people in the courtroom. Again, I haven't watched this or read this myself, but this is the question everybody has. If the death date is wrong and the state has rested their case in chief, is it over? Do they lose? Does Chad Dable win as far as it's concerned? with JJ and the answer is not necessarily so it depends on what the judge decides it's within the judge's discretion I would expect the judge to allow the state to fix their Scrivener's error if they find that it wasn't prejudicial enough to the defendant and if the state was allowed to after acquitting the defendant change the date bring the case again try the case again and nothing would really change then how much does it really prejudice the defendant so that's a question for the judge we'll keep an eye and ear out let me know what your questions are in the comments below